Hi, my name is Kathy Joseph, otherwise known as Kathy Loves Physics. And I'm gonna do something I've never done before, which is open up a book that I wrote. This is my author copy of my book, The Lightning Tamers. And I wanted to share the experience with you, although I'm so excited, I'm not sure how well this is gonna go. And I was hoping to give a little background of why I wrote this novel and what it meant to me, because writing this novel and correspondingly making the YouTube videos has changed my life. I know that sounds a bit over the top, but it, it really did. I was a high school physics teacher for many years. And then after the death of my father and the birth of my oldest child, I was allowed to teach part-time, which I really liked. But then after the birth of my second child, we got a new principal at the high school and they had someone already teaching AP physics and they didn't want me back. Let's be honest, they didn't want me back. So oop, that's a picture of me graduating from high school, <laughs> which I'm using as a stand to hold up my book. Anyway, so they didn't want me back and I didn't want to work part time, especially if I wasn't allowed to teach physics. So I decided to just try to write a book about the history of electricity with the hope that telling the story through the people who discovered it would allow people who didn't know science well or were scared of science to appreciate it and understand it. And what I wasn't expecting is that I would love it so much. Almost immediately, I just geeked out on learning how all these people had interesting lives and how they all interconnected and led from one person to the other. It just, it seemed really interesting to me. And in addition, what I was really surprised to find was that by studying these scientists' stories, I felt like I understood the science better. It gave me a deeper, richer understanding of things that I thought I knew backwards, forwards, left, right, center. And it was just, I don't know, beautiful and exciting to me. And then after I was working on it for about a year and a half, I was like, well, how do I get anyone else to read it? So that's why I started the YouTube videos. And it was so much fun. I've always loved movies. I've always loved books and I've always loved science. So I got to do all three at once. It was amazing. And transforming, the book was already in sort of mini stories that were connected to each other. So I reformed each mini story into a mini movie. And that process alone was really interesting and thought provoking and caused me to discover new things and new approaches to each story. Also, when I filmed it, I added a bunch of pictures and I felt like it needed authentic pictures from the original as much as I could get. And Every time, every time I made a video, I would discover something new in the script writing and I'd discover something new in adding the figures and the images. And then once I published it, it was like I had thousands upon thousands, even millions of fact checkers. It became an interactive experience. I felt like I was learning from you as much as you were learning from me. And I got also to meet a lot of wonderful people. Some people I've only met online, including the person who was my main content editor, was just some guy living in France who said, I liked your videos and helped me read it. He was amazing. He's amazing. Thank you. And also like in real life too, I got opportunity I'd never expected to get. And that's been amazing. And then also people would suggest ideas like, oh, look into Steinmetz, look into this person. Did you see this connection? How about this person? And there's a bunch of people I haven't gotten to, but boy, that was been amazing. Also, it allowed me to make videos about subjects that weren't directly related to the book, which got me down to all sorts of interesting paths, I thought, or at least interesting to me, and including ones where I'm going to write a whole book about it. Like I want to write a book about early history of spectroscopy and astronomy and I never would have done that if I hadn't been making videos about the origin of spectroscopy for my quantum mechanics stuff. And I wouldn't have done that if I hadn't been trying to study quantum mechanics 
to explain lasers and I hadn't done that. You see how it goes. It just spirals out of control. And now I think I have seven books partially written, but one is complete. This book, The Lightning Tamers, is about how we got electricity in our homes. And I, it's just to have the physical manifestation of six years of work and the thought that people are gonna be reading my words and reading, even more important than my words, reading these scientists' words, reading their, about their persona and their personalities and their conflicts and their kindness and their cruelty and their selflessness. And the through line through all of history was that they all loved physics. They all loved discovering something new. They all wanted you to know about it. And I feel like I'm part of that story. And that is, it just makes me want to cry, honestly. I, I just, I really do love physics. I'm not faking it. And the thought of sharing that love with others just makes me so overwhelmed. So here's the book. <laughs> I think I'm going to do it. Okay, ready? This better be recording or I'm going to be really sad because I can't redo this. Okay, here we go. This is going to be a paperback book. They're going to give me a proof of the hardback. I see it. I see it. It's red and yellow because I'm, I'm always about the McDonald's colors. I think <laughs> I'm often doing things red and yellow. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, I should have had scissors or something. <laughs> there it is. Oh my God. There it is. There it is. That's too reflecty. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Isn't it beautiful? I love the cover. See this picture that I found that we were debating what to do for the cover. And I said that um, there is a scientist named Abbe Nolet and he had the most beautiful pictures, drawings, uh, lithographs, sorry. And this is one of his. If you look really closely, you, I don't know, you can't look really closely there. You can see the text from the other side from the page. Now we could have made the contrast bigger so you didn't see it, but I wanted to see it. Oh, and there I am. See, red and yellow, McDonald's colors. <laughs> and, oh, oh, it's so beautiful. And look at all the pictures. I'm a very big believer in pictures. And I fought to have them. Oh, I love this picture. And this picture, awesome. That woman was supposedly the King of France's official mistress. So that's pretty cool. Um, oh my God. Wow. So this is, this is my book. Um, and, um, okay. profound but mostly I'm just saying here's my book and it's real and you can buy it <laughs> if you go to my website www.kathylovesphysics.com you'll get instructions on how to go to Amazon or what to plug in to order it from a regular bookstore and then you can also download the first three chapters and read it as an ebook and um and it's it's, it's hopefully funny. I, I thought it was funny. <laughs> I thought the stories were wild. It should be an easy read, irrespective of your scientific background, because I do incorporate real science in it, just like my regular videos. If you're used to my videos, you know what this book is like, because it sounds and looks just like my videos. It just organized in a different way. And there's stuff in the book, this book, that are not in the videos, and there's stuff in the videos that don't get it in the book. Wow, wow, there it is. Um, I love this picture too. Do you see this picture? Isn't that great? I love that was Boza lighting alcohol on fire with her bare hands. And this is me lighting alcohol on fire with my bare hands, which I really need to do again. So awesome. And it was very important to me that the chapter titles had the year on it so that when you look up to the top of the page, you sort of have a sense of where you are chronologically. So that's my book. 
If you are interested, please pre-order it. Please share it with others. You know, the usual. I think it's really good. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? I think it's a really good book. I think you'll like it. Please buy it and read it. Okay, I'll stop. Stay safe and curious. Bye. Thank you. And oh, and thank you, patrons. Thank you, patrons, for supporting me this whole time. I'm sorry. Thank you, patrons. Oh, and also, audiobook. I forgot. Audiobook. So I was debating about the audiobook because it takes a long time and it has to be me and it costs a lot of money. So I decided to split the difference. So I'm doing a GoFundMe for the audiobook. And then once that hits there, I'll do an audiobook as well. But right now, it's ebook, paperback, or hardback. Any of those three. Okay. Thanks a lot. Stay safe and curious. Bye. Wow. Hi, my name is Kathy Joseph, and I am beyond, beyond excited. In fact, I've passed excited and gone to a different realm of existence. Let me start again.